Hi, I'm Mark with Savid Powertrain. Welcome to our next Tech Tip video. In this video, I will show you how to identify and measure your S-CAM for replacement. Over time, truck owners or technicians may change out parts to save money or perhaps the factory parts were no longer available, so they may do a conversion to a different part number. Therefore, the VIN number may not identify what is actually in your truck or trailer. An S-CAM is a main component in a heavy truck braking system. It consists of a shaft length that varies between 4 and 25 inches. One end of the shaft is splined to a slack adjuster, which is rotated by an air-powered brake chamber when the parking or service brakes are actuated. The opposite end, the S-shaped end when rotated, spreads the shoes apart to apply friction to the brake drum, stopping your vehicle or trailer. Over time, lack of maintenance and outside elements can heavily wear or groove your S-cams, which can take the consistency and your confidence out of your truck's braking system. We will use this camshaft and our Euclid brake parts book to determine the correct part number. First, measure the camshaft length from the inside of the camshaft head to the inside of the farthest snap ring groove. There may be several snap ring grooves, so we always start with our furthest out and we work our way back to the head. A tape measure will work well for this step, but make sure that your tape measure shows the sixteenths of an inch, as these measurements are listed in sixteenths. This particular cam measures eight and nine sixteenths of an inch. Camshafts in our book are listed in order of shortest to longest in the guide. Next, determine the head type by referencing the photos from our online Euclid catalog listed under the Tech Tips section. It's important not to mix head types as the different types can cause brake shoes to open at different rates. Based on the chart photos and our measurement of 1 and 3 sixteenths of an inch, I believe this to be a Type 11 Meritor Q Plus head. Now let's determine if we have a right hand or a left hand cam. An easy way to determine this is to look at the cam with the head facing you. If the left hand edge of the cam is curving upwards, it's a left hand cam. If the right hand edge of the cam is curving upwards, it's a right hand cam. In this case, this is our camshaft, we do have a left hand cam. Lastly, make sure to count the number of splines to verify that it mates up with your slack adjuster. In our case, we have a 28 spline, and it looks as though our S-CAM is this part number E9649 left hand. Bushings and seals are also very important to check. And usually when you replace your S-CAM, it's best practice to install them with a new camshaft repair kit. These repair kits can be referenced by using a chart on our website under the Tech Tips section. In this chart, after finding your camshaft number, you will then find the camshaft kit which contains everything you need to install your camshaft. We do offer some S-CAM upgrades from what comes factory on your truck or trailer, which have better protection from the elements. You can always call in or visit your local Sather Powertrain store and provide the measurements you have to one of our parts professionals or bring in your old camshaft for us to match up. Thanks for watching.